In the oil your water we take health and safety extremely seriously. It is our number one priority. Over the past two years our health and safety performance has improved, but we've noticed recently that 30% of our accidents and serious injuries are caused by slips, trips and falls. A slip may seem trivial, a routine task that we do every day we may be complacent about, but the consequences of slipping, tripping and falling can be extremely serious. This is Chris Valley's story. Chris Valley is a customer service technician with more than 30 years experience with the company. On the morning of the 15th of March 2010, he was at a customer's property in North London. It was a dry day and Chris was doing something he's done for years. Checking out a customer's complaint about water in their garden, which involved him checking for a blocked sewer in an adjacent property. He tripped as he was walking up the driveway. I was walking up towards the house and the next thing I can remember was standing up, feeling sick, feeling that I was going to pass out. It's quite ironic really because I'm a health and safety officer and I've been trading first aid and all these things go through your mind in that split second. They say you, you, your life flashes in front of you, it literally did. The pain, uh, that's all I can think about, the pain was so much. My hand now is, was, is okay but it looked like a big oven glove and it was all red, very, very swollen, um, and it wasn't there, it was hanging down there, bent backwards. And I can remember getting, or trying to grab my hand, but I couldn't, because my hand, my right hand also sustained damage. I had three broken bones in this hand, and a broken thumb, and I can remember standing there and thinking, Christ, you know, what, what do I do next? The pain was, Unbelievable, nothing that I've ever felt before. Ambulance, please. Uh, I was on morphine. Um, I was 90 minutes in the ambulance before they revived me. My blood pressure went up to very high. What started as a normal day ended up with Chris in hospital with nine broken bones. After the accident, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't wash. I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't answer the telephone. I couldn't even open the front door. I had my dad, who's 86, to come round to wash me, to dress me. I couldn't put my underpants on, my socks on, nothing. I couldn't do anything. I was like a baby. And here's my dad, 86, a war hero, trying to dress me. And I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't sleep at night. My brother, who's a builder, came round to my house and he said, don't worry, Chris, we'll sort this out. And um, he drilled holes in my ceiling, which were just decorated. My wife went crazy. And I had these slings coming down, so my hands were in slings. My hip was in agony, so I couldn't lay on my back. I was laying on my side. You try laying on your side for three months, it's, it's, it's agony. Um, and eventually, um, the pain dissipated and, and I could gradually move my fingers and I could literally dress myself after literally three months. The benefits I got from working for such a good company as Viola was that they have this, it's like a family, so they actually, ring me up and they came round and spoke to me. I never thought this would happen to me. It's something that I don't want to happen to anybody else. It's just unbelievable. The thing I learned about having this accident at work was that you really got to take that split second and think about what you're doing and don't rush. Five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Don't worry about it. Just do your job properly and don't have an accident like me. Chris is now back to work, but his injuries mean that he's been away from work for four and a half months. He is slowly getting back the power in his hands, but he still suffers a lot of pain and has to use an ice pack when he gets home in the evening. Stop this happening to you. Remember, look around, be aware of your surroundings. Look out for any potential hazards. Slow down. Nothing is so important that it can't be done safely. Report it. Take responsibility for preventing accidents. Report near misses so you can prevent an accident happening to someone else.